Hello everyone, back to tuning in to today's final final video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 28th of August. Uh, we'll be able to extend out beyond that. We have sent Jeff Air, sent you Chef on Sobbles, maybe we're trying to couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. And that gets us towards the middle of September. I should get to have that for you in a moment. Just say that first the video really today was our 6 m UK weather forecast. And we've reached Jeremy as well check out those two videos if you'd like to that like share and subscribe on all today's bits content thank you so much everybody um for doing that let's start off with the weather warnings and also this name store <laughs> about that in a second but um here we go then we've got weather warnings uh we've got weather warnings galore actually um no check this out this is for today we've got a thunderstorm warning in the southeast corner um, no, that's valid from 8 p.m. this evening until 5 a.m. tomorrow. Things could be noisy in the southeast corner tonight. A few bangs in the night. I don't know, do you? Um, and then we've got a wind warning uh, for the west, from southwest England up the west coast. I'm a bit silly today. I'm so sorry, buddy. Um, we've got a wind warning from uh, for southwest England. And also the west of Wales and into uh, sort of step back, I? Southwest England and Northern Ireland. That's valid from 6 p.m. tonight till midday tomorrow. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, there's a rain warning as well for Northern Ireland that's appeared. That's valid from 9 p.m. tonight until 6 a.m. tomorrow and then these warnings stretch on into uh into tomorrow as well so the rain warning also covers scotland as well tomorrow so multiple weather warnings there all being brought about by storm betty look at this we've got another name storm this tweet, well, no, it's not a tweet, is it now? It's an X. Is it an X? It's a post. What is it? I don't know. Uh, I still call it a tweet. Anyway, uh, Met Office account put this out earlier on. Met Aaron have named hashtag Storm Betty. I mean, what can you say, really, about Betty? For a storm name. I don't know, do you? Um, this is the second name storm of this August. The last time that happened was 2020, I think. We had two name storms in August. Um, and uh, so they say it's second name, uh, name storm of this August. And it's like to bring very strong winds and some heavy and thundery downpours to parts of the UK. And uh, there she is. Look, check this out. There's Betty in all over. Glory coming in from off the Atlantic through tonight and uh, into tomorrow as well. Look at all that rain pushing northwards and 60 to 70 mile an hour wind gusts in the west as well. Good gracious me. I don't know, do you? <laughs> Storm Betty, it makes me think of Frank Spencer and uh, so, <laughs> some mothers do have. Ooh, Betty. Uh, some mothers do have. Them. It's not very sexy, is it, Betty? It's not a very sexy name. Sorry to any Betty's watching. Um, <laughs> But it's not really a very sexy name, is it, for a storm? The, uh, the hurricanes and that in the US, they, uh, they seem to have more exciting names than, <laughs> than ours, don't they? Ours are always like Betty or Walter. <laughs> Uh, Dora, something like that, Doris. I don't know, do you? <laughs> anyway, it's come for a laugh, isn't it? It's come for a laugh. They give us a laugh, don't they, for Met Office. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you to the UK, Met, for giving us a laugh on a dreary Friday. Anyway, to get serious, there's going to be some wild weather around um, later on today, overnight, and into tomorrow. So uh, take care if you're off out and about later on. Right, so central England <laughs> temperature is currently sitting at 16.6, which is 0.8 of a degree above the 61 to 1990. That's professional. So, yes, you calm yourself down, Gab. Be professional, Gab. Be professional. Um, no, that's provisional to yesterday to the 17th of August. These are the GFS upright temperature precipitation ensembles that cover which one Edinburgh today. The red line is the first. Year up at air temperature average for any probably starting off above average up. Remember, I've always said nobody does it like Gav. You see, you won't find this sort of 
uh, discussion about the name Betty <laughs> on any other WX account, I wouldn't have thought. <laughs> so, <laughs> whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know, but nobody does it like that. Uh, anyway, starting off above average with your bread tensions at the moment, but they will be gradually coming down as we go through uh, the next week or so. Uh, and into like the final days of August, beginning of September, we're hovering very close to the long-term 30-year average in Edinburgh. Precipitation-wise, that's more wet weather associated with Betty. Um, Betsy. <laughs> uh, t- tomorrow, actually. That's more tomorrow for Scotland. Then drier after that, but becoming more unsettled maybe through next week. So months end and possibly into the start of September. Looking a little bit unsettled. There. Let's go a bit further south to Rontha. See how things are shaping up on um, there. So, same trend, Rich. It takes a little bit longer for the temperature to come down. So, you're know, really very warm when you're up there. Temperatures holding on to some of that residual warmth thing to next week. Gradually, the up there. Temperatures return back close to average over the last week of August and into the opening days of September. Note there are a few hot outlier members continuing up here. Uh, but the jovial trend is to cool things down. And also, relatively drier today and tonight's wet weather is out of the way, but perhaps more unsettled for the uh, end of August and beginning of September. Temperature anomaly shall be 18th to 26th of uh, August, coming out uh, just a little bit above average. Notice the hottest uh, of these anomalies are now being pushed further and further eastwards now into more eastern portions of Europe, and certainly the northwest is beginning to look. Closer to average. Uh, precipitation anomaly. Hold on. <coughs> Excuse me, everybody. Precipitation anomaly should be eight. Will be a gap video about a car. Um, precipitation anomaly should be 18 to 26th for August. Western average in the north, driving average in the south and in the southeast. So, this is from, from, uh, from nolschool.net. Shows that we're drawing him in from an easterly direction today. Uh, with low pressure out here. Actually, that is Betty, actually. There's Betty. No, actually, I think Betty's down here. So, the main... So Betty's a daughter, actually. Betty's just here. This is the main low, but it's been knocking around for some time in the North Atlantic. But Betty's actually like a daughter low, but spinning around this main low. Um, that kind of... <laughs> Thing. Uh, so you can see how Betty's already starting to whip herself up actually into a frenzy. Look at this. Look at that. Betty's properly whipping herself up there, isn't she? <laughs> you need to calm down, Betty. Calm yourself, dear. Have a, have a cup of tea and, uh, and, uh, <laughs> and an ice bun. Um, that's the sort of thing you'd expect a Betty to do, is have a cup of tea and an ice bun. Um, right, anyway, let's carry on. Uh, this is how the latest chart is. If it's looking from a UK bet euro run. So for big tight on many high pressure is bridging up from the south. I'm so sorry for any Betty's watching. I don't mean to, you know <laughs> be insulting to any bets. I knew a Betty, actually. Uh, bet, I had a neighbour Betty. She was she was lovely, lovely, lovely lady. Um very, very fond memories of Betty. Betty's a nice, Betty's a lovely. You know, you don't want a Betty to be a <laughs> <laughs> be a store wreaking havoc, do you? Betty's are like grandmotherly and wholesome and that. Um, that's why it's so funny, but we've got this name, I think. Anyway, but anyway, I'm off on a tangent. Let's get back to this. So this our latest chart data is looking at the you commit your run. We have high pressure reaching up from the south, taking the low pressure away to uh, the north as we go through... Uh, the early part of next week. We're going to try and pull it heat up from itself. It's not really going to come off. We get this low pressure developing. That might be a bit more fun to back to south with the middle part of uh, next week. All looking very slack, I have to say. Not much happening next week. Very slow moving patterns. But by the end of the week, we have got an area of low pressure sitting to our west. That will, pro- that will probably bring more unsettled weather just in time for the bank holiday weekend. Icon, again, with hypers trying to ridge up from the south on Monday, taking the area low pressure away to the north and to the northwest. We don't pull the heat up from the south, actually drop in like relatively cool northwesterly winds through the second half of next week. And then we turn the wind into like a northerly actually as we approach the bank holiday weekend. So cool and showery with icon by the end of next week, especially so for more eastern portions of the country. GFS midnight run again is building up that ridge from the south or trying to 
preview early part of uh, next week. But uh, it doesn't come to anything. We don't pull the heat up from France. Instead, we drop down a trough of low pressure from the north. And we go into what <laughs> looks like quite a cool and showery back holiday weekend with low pressure sitting close to the country. Mostly showers rotating around that and winds will be coming in from like a northwesterly type direction as well. Then things start getting a move on into months end as we bring low pressure in from off down. So we start to pep up the jet stream push through areas of low pressure and they will bring showers and or longer spells of rain in from off the Atlantic Ocean as well. That's how we can get to the end of the GFS midnight run with a little bit of a ridge into the south. That try to settle things down but basically we're still in a rather unsettled westerly flow there with showers and quite strong winds up in the north. The GFS 6 then again is drawing up high pressure from the south bringing lots of a dry weather through the early part of next week into the south. We tried to put the heat up from France, but we don't pull that off. Instead, we bring in a showery and cooler northwesterly. So we turn increasingly showery and quite cool into the second half of next week. Winds are in from the north northeast, and a trough of low pressure will bring showers and or long spells of rain as well. And staying relatively cool with northwesterly winds and a few showers up towards day 10. Beyond that, into months and well, high pressure trying to bridge in from the Azores but not really doing so with much conviction probably bring something a bit drier into the south the opening days of September not overly warm and in the north probably quite cool and showery if you enjoyed the video please do like, share, subscribe thank you so much everyone for doing that, drop a comment let us know what you think about this and all of our videos I should have to think what the comments are going to be like today um, <laughs> I might have been a little bit too much for some of you, I don't know but anyway let me know what you think as long as you're kind um, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, thank you so much everyone for doing that. We've got around 30 subscribers now to get ourselves to 16.7k. Uh, so we're so close now to 16.7k. Uh, Please tell your friends and family uh, to subscribe and tell them that you'll, you you don't get the weather done like Gav does the weather anywhere else. Nobody does it like Gav. GM once more with high pressure pushing up from the south to the early part of next week. Rather cool and showery. Second half of next week, low pressure is just taking over really. Bringing showers and longer spells. Rain. That could be quite a wet end to next week actually. Going into Matt Coddy weekend and cool as well with winds in from more of a northerly direction. We've actually got a, a, a trough of low pressure sitting right over the top of the country into the Van Coddy weekend. So not the best. Not the best, really. Um, and at day 10, still that low pressure close to us with showering conditions, especially in the north and the east. And then the east, yeah, once more with high pressure trying to build up from the south and bring the hot pink dome, the hot dome, up from the south of the Opa next week. It doesn't come off. Low pressure pushes in from the north and from the northwest, turning things showery and cooler through the middle of the second half of next week. That might be quite a wet pattern from the south as we go into the bank holiday weekend. Low pressure is never far away. Certainly in the north, though, it looks a little bit better, which, of course, of course not a bank holiday Monday, but <laughs> start from there on uh, Monday the 28th. This is a precipitation forecast based on that. Uh, each year, run from the up Metro.com. In comes all of wind rain tonight and uh, whatnot with uh, Betty. And there are in two showery conditions in the west over the weekend. Most sections of these areas will be dry though through the weekend. Early part of next week dry in the south. Some showers still left up in the north. And then showers becoming more widespread in the second half of next week, merging into longer spells of rain as well. That's going to Bank Holiday Weekend. I'm afraid it does look very wet there for the Bank Holiday Weekend. Oh dear. Uh, that's Bank Holiday Monday still with both showers, longer spells of rain, particularly focused on England and Wales. I think at the start of the year, I might have said we're going to have a look at CFSB2 for the next four weeks. We're not doing that because we did back in JMA Friday. So instead, <laughs> what we're going to do is have a look at the CFS for September. Uh, so these are the CFS. This is the CFS monthly today. 700 millibar height anomaly. A uh, trough of low pressure close to the country. A little area of low pressure is a mid-Atlantic ridge that's going on uh, as well. So we're all looking a little bit on the unsettled side there, I have to say. It's, it's showing warm temperatures. Though. So a warm September to come in those orange and red colours, that's like uh, up to two degrees above average, uh, but it looks a little bit unsettled with rather above average rainfall, particularly to the north and to the west. If you want to know how, this, uh, how the uh, CFS four weeks uh, are shaping up, 
then check out JMA Friday where we go through those uh, anomaly charts for the next four weeks. But the monthly, remember this changes day by day, the monthly is looking warm but quite unsettled for September today. Could look different though tomorrow. We'll see. Right, if you enjoyed the video, please can you like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know if you got this and all my videos. And don't forget to tell friends about Gals Weber. We thank you so much everybody for uh, doing that for Gals Weber vids. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, I don't know. Right, well, that's it, Ben. Uh, <laughs> God, wasn't it? What do you think to that? It's all right, wasn't it? Um, Yeah, that's it for today's uh, vids. Tomorrow, I'm actually going to have the afternoon off, I think, tomorrow. Uh, I'm spending it with family. So uh, what's going to be happening tomorrow? I think we'll, we'll definitely do 6 a.m. forecast. And um, we'll, uh, I, we'll have the ECMJF ECW, ECW 42 day as well. I'll try and squeeze in the weekend. Probably no 10 to 14 day tomorrow. Or if there is, it will be very late. It'll be after 6 p.m. Um, but uh, probably no 10 to 14 day tomorrow. I don't think I'll be able to get that done. As I say, I'm going to be having the afternoon um, with my uh, brother and uh, lovely sister-in-law, uh, David, Sarah, and uh, and my two nephews, Louis and Benjamin, as well. So it's going to be very nice family time tomorrow afternoon. On Sunday, we'll have 6 a.m. forecast. We'll have the 10th and final autumn update. I'll be live streaming our 10 to 14 day of and we'll be combining it with loads of long range. We'll check out the long range from CFS and also from the Beijing Climate Centre. And we'll run it right the way through to winter 2023 24 as well. So, very, very interesting live stream to come on Sunday. That will be at 6 pm, of course. Well, you enjoy the rest of your Friday. And for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.